Today I'm going to review Chaos, Making a New Science by James Glick, author of Genius and Isaac Newton. He also wrote uh, a book called The Information that I recently reviewed. So this book tells the story of chaos, and it really tells the story of the academic side of chaos, like how researchers in uh, academia and how people started understanding it and coming up with theories to explain it and to really tease out exactly what it was and what it meant. And the book just follows a bunch of different people as they kind of just look into problems in their own fields, but they all kind of come together behind the scenes to form the science of chaos. And it's a really interesting story. And when this book came out, uh, chaos theory was huge in like the popular culture. Uh, if you go back and you watch Jurassic Park, Jeff Goldblum's character, he's like a chaotician or whatever stupid word they use for it. But anyways, so it was really big back at the time. Like everyone thought that it was going to explain a bunch of crazy things and that it'd have more meaning probably than what it ended up having. But it's a, it was a really interesting story. So what's going on in chaos is there's these like non-dynamic systems. So just uh, even simple systems, but the way they interact is they don't have an equilibrium. And a lot of the scientific theories, I guess the math theories and everything, physics and all the subjects, they thought that it was pretty easy, easily explainable. But what people found was that there's a lot of weird patterns in the chaos and the way that they came about. And if you looked at ratios within the chaos, uh, ratios between things that are moving around, some of them would converge on numbers even in a bunch of different systems. So you would have all these real world systems that are very different from each other, but you could oddly derive like one ratio, one number from the data of all these different systems. So they're trying to like piece this all together and figure out uh, what it meant and what it, it told us about nature and then uh, just all these different things. And so the book reads almost like a science thriller or a science mystery because when the author's telling you the story, he doesn't explain anything until the researchers in the book actually understand it organically. So you're kind of wondering about what's going on along with these researchers. And then, uh, you know, when they have a breakthrough, the book will explain what it means. And uh, so as the story goes through, it's really gripping and it really draws you in because you get you put yourself in the shoes of these people trying to figure out what chaos meant. And so it reads really well. But I do think that like the biggest, th the best thing about the book is just how interesting the science of chaos is. I'm not sure any author can make a boring subject this good, but the subject matter is really good. And then the author does a great job of explaining it. So I think that this book, uh, I really liked it a lot. Um, it was huge when it came out, sold a lot of copies. And I think that reading it today, it still holds up. The book is still really interesting. Uh, I read it a few times. I loved it. Uh, I think if you want to go down like a scientific rabbit hole that's just filled with a bunch of interesting things and uh, covers a bunch of different topics, then this is a great book to read. Though I should note that I have the paperback version here and the graphics are not that good because they're just printed in ink. There's like a couple color ones, but the graphics really don't do the subject matter justice. I don't know if the other forms of the book are any better, but uh, definitely if you find something interesting, pause when you're reading the book and go look it up online because now we have these incredibly high def photos and for some of the, the stuff they're explaining, you really want to see that detail at all these different levels because when they start talking about like fractals and things like that, uh, you really need a, a precise picture to really understand exactly what's going on. So uh, that would be my suggestion, but definitely pick this book up if you're interested. So I hope you guys like that review. I've got more reviews coming soon, so like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.